Do you know that medicine say that the inner organs of man are far from the outer dermis? The outer dermis forms your inner organs. Have you heard that? How the fetus falls in upon itself as a harsh shoe and the outer forms a togetherness at the top of the outer dermis become the internal organ. Did you know, have you heard that the backbone, the hardest part of the body go out of the heart? Yes, sir. The soft tissue? Yeah. How was that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so these things I'm telling you is to show you that because man, man, man overlook the mistakes of the man creation himself, you know, and curse it as himself, you know. Now he's rediscovering. So I don't choose to cast too much judgment upon that right now. That judgment is unto itself. Create itself. I, I need not to do that. You know. The first time you said it's true, what you said about melanin, but now you said it's still being researched. It's still being researched, but it is a fact, however, that melanin protects the human. That's a fact. I mean, that's, so that's, that's a fact. But I'm talking about the spiritually advanced than Europeans. I know it's from all from blackness. Well, Ethiopia. remember you mentioned to me that about the way people dance, yes, and so forth. Yeah. So you mentioning that to me. Now you know the heart is a drum. Mm. It is a drum. Mm. If it beats too too fast or too slow, it's trouble. <laughs> if it's palpitations or arrhythmia, it's trouble. So it's a steady drum, the yeah. heart. So if you can move to a steady drum that's inside of you, it will suggest a disconnect. Because that drum must move steady for you to be healthy. True. True. But that's universal, that's for all human beings, right? Yes. Yes, but my it's pure about the melody. I have not a concrete answer, I know. No, but you see, I never profess to be the concrete answer. I tell you, all our ancestors knew it. And all the rituals say it. You know? All the rituals know. You know, about this, how we come down. And we give thanks how we come down. And that we, that the sun look upon our, us with favor. Because at one point it was looked upon as disfavor in recent history mm -hmm. and it's still being looked upon with this favor right now <laughs> let me ask you this if something which is favor and good is being looked upon large scale with this favor when mainstream medicine and everyone knows this is good it's good to be protected from the sun ray and if the children of this can still be shunned and scarred on the basis of this, then what does that suggest about the honesty of the society? You know, I would suggest, I'm just asking you, what does that suggest? Because, you know, everyone acknowledges that it's a good thing to be protected from melanomas. It's good to be protected, but it's more than just protected. They say it's just more than just protected. That's that, that's my question. That's the whole thing about. You see, you see amazing, you see amazing quality, humanity quality among all race of people. Amazing, amazing, yeah. Among all race of people, black people are the first people, and there's no way to go around it. That's a fact. Now, this may answer your question better for you. Because within the soul of the first souls must be all the souls. Yeah. <laughs> you have to you have, you have to really work at this slowly. There's no need to for us to 
we can go slow. Within the first soul, you know, are all the souls. And we have seen generation go from white to black. One generation. White to black, yeah. The children born black. The next generation born black. Yeah. You never see any white people have children in one generation that is black people. You don't consider them maybe black. People. One, maybe they get one seed and this black, but not the whole generation that becomes black from white. I never see that. That's so far that one gonna be a generation. That one is a whole generation. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my God! But I, you know, I was going to say something, and I didn't. So now I am, right? <laughs> Within one man, you know, his eighth generation, you know, and himself the ninth. You know. Within one man, you have great grandmother, grandmother, mother, and daughter, great grandfather, grandfather, father, and son. Those are your possibilities as seeds. And each one that you have will be that possibility and that continuum if they choose to procreate. So each one is a generation. Yeah. Because generate is the root of the word, you know. I don't know how the illusion of the word gets carried away. <laughs> but to generate, Sean, <laughs> is what we're talking about there. Yeah. Yeah, these things are going to be difficult questions for many ones right now. Because, you know, I don't want to say all kind of things, you know. Yeah, if it's true, it's true. No, I, don't, I, I don't see it necessary right now. For instance, you know, our people spoke of this car and bar essence. And it's written in the book of the, the uh, coming forth by day that they call the Egyptian book of the dead. It's written that these ones will come again forward in their same essence, soul essence, spirituality essence, and their physical embodiment. Together, the car and the back will be together. And that's what you see, look through the crowd. You see how much lion face, man. It's not one, it's not three, it's not five, it's not a hundred. Look, walk through the place. You see some youth from Africa and they look back in the ancient farm because they accept back the ancient farm. So you see ancient kings walking up and down here. Like what Edgar Casey wrote. And like, like what the whole New Age movement know. Everyone know of this myth, mythology. That you will see great ancient kings in Atlantis region, in middle Atlantic region of the earth being servants and serving confectionaries and working in bakeries and such. Mm. If you go look and read these man, <laughs> we read what they said. Yeah, and how long ago them said that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was taking some YouTube video for maybe like this